my birthday haul and this was highly highly requested on YouTube because a lot of you have been asking me to do this and a lot of people have been doing this too when it when it's their birthday they just do a haul yeah so enough about me telling you what a birthday haul is because I think it's pretty obvious from the name okay and I'm also filming in my friends room again so the quality is much better and I did film um, two birthday hauls before the first one had like the worst quality ever like seriously that webcam I don't know what's happening to it but it's like dying or something um, and the second one was better quality. It was filmed on my, um, on a Mac computer. So it had better quality, not the best, but at least it got some things to show and, um, it was just better quality in general. And this probably is the best quality. So I promised you guys this is going to be the last time I filmed this birthday haul video. Um, and then finally just get this out of my way because I've been really annoyed on, like, the quality and stuff like that. So, enough of this long introduction, even though it was only, like, 30 seconds or whatever. Okay, so, let's just get started. And some of you, if you guys have been watching all two of my other birthday hauls, you probably already know what I'm going to be showing you. But for those of you that haven't watched those, watch this one. So, yeah. From my mom and my dad um they both got me stuff from hollister but i don't actually have that right now because i'm filming in my friend's house so it was gonna be like a drag to bring like all that here so they just got me um sweatpants and jeans from hollister i'll do a haul separate haul on that later when i'm at home and then um my mom just got me some makeup items the first thing she got me was this um nail polish from Mineral Fusion, and this is a really healthy um, nail polish, and um, I love this color. It's like orange, and it's really pretty, and it's sparkly too, and this color is in Radiant Amber, and I've never actually had a nail polish like this before, so I'm really excited, and if you guys are wondering where I got this nail polish, I got it from Whole Foods, so it has no bad chemicals or nothing at all. So, you guys should really check this out, and I'll post it in the description box below, um, like, certain places where you can buy this at Whole Foods and stuff like that. So, um, the next thing that I got, I'm just waiting for this to focus, sorry guys. The next thing that I got was these Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Trio. Um, if you guys watched my, um, previous video, which is the mini bag tag video, uh, it has another one, which is the black one, but I took that out and put it in my mini bag, so I forgot this morning to put it back in. And so, this only has the purple, the purple and the brown one, and this really enhances brown eyes. Um, and I use the black one a lot, so, and it has three, the, the brown one is for natural eyes, the purple one is for playful eyes and then the black one is for dramatic eyes I think I'm not sure I'm not looking at it but um these really define brown eyes apparently and I have brown eyes if you guys don't know it might be like it might look black or something but it's brown so um this is a 24 hour wear so if you guys um are one want like a natural eyeliner or something this would be amazing also from Whole Foods so thanks mom and she got me a mascara but if you guys watched my previous video mini bag video um it's also in there and i just forgot to take it out from yesterday okay so from my sister she got me two things um she got first she got me a uh, hello cupcake it's really cute um i love this packaging design and it's actually note cards um so if you guys are wondering what's in this cute little thing there are note cards and they're 20 note cards from Paper Chase. Okay, yeah. That was hard. That font is, like, weird. Okay, so anyways, um, they're just, like, note cards and really pretty note cards and envelopes in the back. And I'll show you um, the pretty note cards because they actually say them in the back. So the first one is just the plain Hello Cupcake one. This one is really cute. Um... It's like a bunch of food on there. And this one is a really cute chocolate flower, I guess you can call that. And then this one is 
probably my favorite one because it has different cupcakes and designs and stuff like that. So I really like this and my sister is actually going to college soon so I think this was a hint to write her. I'm not sure. But it probably is. So thank you. Oh, so, and then <clears throat> she got me um, a bracelet from Juicy Couture and this says Born in the Glamorous USA which is the Juicy Couture like logo or something. And this was really expensive. It was $40. Um, and it looks like this. Um, there's like pink, I don't know what you call this, like cushy thing. I don't know. But it's really cute. And actually, if you guys can tell, this is actually rusting a little bit, which actually took me into surprise because Juicy Couture isn't supposed to rust. And I'm pretty sure this is real. Um, because it was so expensive and all that, so, um, we're actually taking it back to the store to get an exchange, but I just really want to show you guys this because I think it's so pretty, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to probably get a charm when I go back, because this is like a charm bracelet kind of thing, and it just says Juicy Couture, Juicy Couture, and then on the back it just has like a tiara, no, it's like the Juicy Couture logo thing, yeah, anyways, so... I'm actually really surprised. Is Juicy Couture supposed to rust? If you guys think it's supposed to rust, like, I don't know. I didn't put it underwater, but I did go to an amusement park with this, and we did go on. Uh, it did start to rain, and so I don't know if Juicy Couture is waterproof or not. Um, if you guys, so tell me in the comments below what you think about this. Like, it's supposed to rust, yeah. And, yeah, so it just says Juicy Couture, born in the glamorous USA. But I do like this packaging. It's like pretty. Just simple, sleek brown. Okay, so that was all for my family. And now from my friend, Tina. She's actually filming right now. So, yeah, she got me a bunch of things that like added up over $100. Yeah, no. Thank you so much, Tina. Okay, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what she got me. So she got me, she got me the seven, like, lotion, seven pack lotion thing from Simply Pleasures. And this is all from Bath and Body Works. And actually, I didn't bring the other six one, the other six, because um, it's heavy and it, like I said before, it would be a drag to bring it all. And I just bought this one because it's actually, like, I don't know why I just bought this one. I don't know. But there's like other scents like berry popsicle, mint chocolate, gingerbread cookies, something like that. I'll do a separate haul on that later. So this one is vanilla icing body lotion. And, um, oh my god, this smells like cupcakes. It's so good. It smells so good. There's a picture of a cupcake anyways. So yeah. And then she got me a pink chiffon full size lotion body lotion and I love this packaging it is so pretty and um, this is made with vitamin E jojoba oil and shea butter and um, this smells amazing I'm gonna describe the scent I can't anyways um this smells so good so if you guys actually want to know what this smells like you should probably go get this and the packaging is so pretty, like I already said. So, yeah, I really like this. Thank you. And then the last two things from Bath Body Works are two hand, two pocket back hand sanitizers. Are these pocket back? I don't know, actually. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Um, the first one is Vanilla Berry Sorbet. And um, this is like a pinkish color. It's like a light pink color. And this smells like really good. It smells like ice cream. Oh, my God, this smells really good. Okay, and then um, she got me Midnight Pomegranate, which is actually one of my favorite ones. And I think this smells like Dark Kiss. I don't know, but if you guys have tried Dark Kiss but not this one, you guys should try this. And if you love Dark Kiss, this is like a perfect um, scent that is similar to it. So, yeah. And it also has like... It's purple and it has like blue stuff. I think all hand sanitizers have this from Bath and Body Works. So yeah, I really like this scent. It smells really good. 
And then that was all from Bath and Body Works, but she got she did get me two gift cards. The first gift card is from Air Postal, and it's a twenty five dollar gift card, so I can just go to Air Postal anytime and just get something from Air Postal. Yeah. Um, and then she got me a Target gift card, which is fifty dollars, and this is where most of the money came from, actually, and Bath and Bath and Body Works. But I actually love Target if you're doing back to school shopping or something. Uh, gift cards are the best to spend your money on, if that made any sense. No. But, yeah. Uh, I love Target. You can get anything in there, basically. Okay, now these are for my camp friends. So, first, my friend Renee got me two pocket back hand sanitizers. And these are actually fun scents. And so, the first one is Peace Mixed Berry. And this smells like blueberries. And then she got me Pink Daisy, which smells like plastic flowers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it smells like flowers. Okay, that's all she got me. Then my friend Sabrina just got me one perfume, which actually does add up to $40. This is Abra Levine for Forbidden Rose. And sorry, I just forgot the name. <laughs> And uh, this is actually like a celebrity perfume. I never actually had a celebrity perfume, so I'm really excited. And this fragrance includes a special ring accessory. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys that in a moment. So it just looks like that. And then just open it up. Oh my god. I go in heaven every single time I see this thing. Okay, first, this is a perfect perfume size. It's like amazing i haven't tried this yet so i don't know actually guys here's the secret about me the more expensive perfume you get me the more less likely i'll use them because i just don't want to waste them <laughs> and then um i'll use them eventually sometime when i'm 40 anyways um this is a black rose and i think this is so pretty and it says ever levine and then just pop the cap off this is a ring that goes with it so you just slip that on so this is what the ring looks like and yeah I think it's really pretty and this is really original wait wait this scent smells amazing And you guys should t t check this out at Sephora, because that's where she got it, I think. Yeah. And also, this is the website where you can get it if you don't actually have a Sephora near you. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure everyone has a Sephora near them. Okay, so lastly for my friend Julia, she got me a couple of, th a lot of things, actually. First, she got me two pink perfumes these two this one is pretty and pure and I'm actually giving this to my friend Tina who's filming um, because I thought it'd be nice if we both would share a pink perfume and then this is mine um, sweet and flirty and I love this scent and I also like how it's sweet and flirty. <gasps> flirty okay anyways perfect for eighth grade I think and so this smells like my grandma? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was an inside joke we had earlier. And then this one smells... Oh, this smells so good. I can't describe what they smell. They smell like pink, so just go to pink and try them out. I don't know. And then she got me something from Bath & Body Works. This is a shower gel spark in sparkling berry bliss. And oh my god, this smells... Gosh, sorry. I don't mean to use the Lord's name in vain. This smells so good good i can't get over how well this smells like right, so this smells really good i'm just gonna describe this scent again i'm probably gonna fail again i failed oh my god it smells like berries okay and then the last things that she got me were three perfume sticks from juicy couture these don't rust hopefully right, so the first one is juicy couture and this one smells Amazing. By the way, all these smell really grown up, so you guys should, if you guys like grown up scents, you should get Juicy Couture, because, yeah, this one smells good. 
You know, if you guys actually have tried Juicy Couture perfumes before, you can't really describe their scents. I don't know why. But this is Viva La Juicy. It smells good. I'm just going to say this smells good for everything because I can't really describe them. And this one, the last one is Couture Couture. Couture Couture. Juicy Couture. It smells good too. So, did I get anything? Okay, yeah. So, this is... Oh, this packaging is so pretty. If you guys actually, like, go to Bath and Body Works, they give you this bag. So buy something and you can get this bag. It's so pretty. Like, it's just Bath and Body Works. And it has plaid. Okay, that was really random. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. And tell me about the quality down below. And yeah, peace out, chicken butt. My Bye. hands are numb from filming.